Hi, I'm Lena. My name is Ashley Martin. My name is Emma. My name is Chris Bailey. My name is Casey. Oh, I'm Charlie. My name is Alice. And I'm Emily. Alex Ferguson. We're all just a bunch of nerds, really. six years. I guess what drew me into cosplay was when I was much younger I always enjoyed uh, dressing up in like the outfits that my grandparents had. I started out in theatre in high school and I remember seeing pictures of cosplayers online and thinking hell this is how you connect the two. This is how I could bring together acting, crafting and my life for all pop culture things. I did not realize that this is not professional models or professional crafting teams. This is just people who like what they do and like their favorite characters. Being a part of the cosplay community just feels like you've got this big extended family and everyone's happy to see you all the time. Everyone is incredibly helpful and it's all a big family where everyone knows everyone and we are always happy to help each other. Being in cosplay makes me feel like included in a community that is lovely. And it's just really cool to know that you have that sort of connection with other people who are on the same wavelength as you in terms of what they like and how they express themselves. I don't actually fit the classic model body type. Back in Russia where I started cosplaying, I spent a few years not being noticed by anyone, not being interacted with even by photographers. I don't have a single photo taken of me in that period because no one wanted to. Even though the costume I was wearing was good, it was well made, my makeup was good, my wig was perfectly applied, but simply because I was not a model and I didn't look like it, people didn't want to talk to me. Even some of my friends tried to give me advice like, why don't you make that skirt a little longer? It's gonna hide all your problem areas. They're trying to be helpful, but it can really bring you down. But without any support whatsoever and only negative comments, I had no strength to continue on my own. I only started cosplaying again when I moved to Australia and met the amazing community here and received a lot of support from people encouraging me to go again. I actually have Asperger's. I don't like to talk about it much because I feel like it's something people like to use as an excuse a lot. Being in the cosplay community and going into a different character became easier to understand how people interact because I had to learn to mimic another character. So I had to think about how they would interact with someone else. So it gradually became easier for me to communicate with people. I suppose the breaker would be when I met my girlfriend through cosplay. Uh, that's definitely the biggest thing that's helped, but it's definitely been a big help learning how to communicate and understand people. There's a lot of people out there who use cosplay as a form of confidence boost or it helps them, it helps distract them from their lives if they need it. If you do get into the community, you will make lots of friends who are into the same things as you. And when you surround yourself with good people, that will ultimately help you in your life. I tend to feel a bit more confident in myself. I can express myself in whatever character I am. I sort of learn how to take their characteristics with you and it's just like how you can pick up an unintentional habit out of someone else. When I put my costume on, I feel like my whole personality changes. So, out of the costume, I'm very unsociable. I will feel quite empowered like for a while after I take like, the cosplay off. If I get to become someone I'm not, even for a moment, for a day, for an hour of a photo shoot, it's a very refreshing feeling. We can be whatever we want. And that's what makes us powerful. Don't be afraid to be yourself. You feel uh, more free and open to talk to other people you don't know. We're all children and we all want to play dress up. 